Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to study trigonometry and its applications. We are told in this number 15 that uh, the angle of elevation of the top of a tree from P and Q, which are 30 meters apart, are 22 degrees and 32 degrees respectively. If the two points are on the same side of the tree, determine the height of the tree. Therefore, we have a tree which has a known height. I want to sketch the information. Here is a tree with a known height. The now on uh, the same side, and of course on a horizontal level, we have points P and Q, such that <clears throat> the angles of elevation from P and Q are 22 and 32. And you know the closer a point is, the greater the angle of elevation to the top of a vertical height ahead of the two points. That means now that the, <clears throat> the angle of elevation of Q is 32, then it means Q is closer to the tree. So we have a point Q here. We have a point Q. So P should be let to be far a little bit. This is Q. This is P. The two points are 30 meters apart. 30 meters apart, but now the angle of elevation from this point is going to be 32, while that from the other point here is going to be, this is going to be 22. So the angle here is 22 degrees. <clears throat> With that information now, we can obtain we can determine the height of the tree, which can be let to be h. Which can be let to be h. The distance here is 30. So the distance remaining here can be let to be x. Because it's unknown. So that now we talk of, <clears throat> we can use a, what we call tangent of an angle. Because we have an angle, we want the opposite, and we have the adjacent side here. And therefore we can say, the tangent of 32 degrees is equivalent to the opposite length, which is h, divided by the adjacent length, which is x. This is to mean that the value of h can be obtained by x, the tan of 32 degrees. Again, we can use the angle here, which is 22, and say, let me call this one equation 1. We can also say that the tangent of 22 degrees is equivalent to the opposite length, which is h, divided by the adjacent length, which is 30 plus x. 30 plus x, the total length. <clears throat> then now we can say, again, h is going to be given by 30 plus x multiplied by the tangent of 22 degrees. This is the second equation. Therefore, now that the first expression or the first equation is giving us h, the second equation is also giving us h, then we can equate the two sides and argue that x, the tangent of 32, is equivalent to 30 plus x, the tangent of 22 degrees. Then we get the value of x. So the value of x can be gotten by, we can group the parts which have x together because this is a x times the tan of 32. Then opening these brackets will give us 30 tan 22 degrees plus x, the tan of 22, so that the parts with x now can be brought to the same side. Mm, let, me, let me use the part here. So x, the tan of 32 degrees, we subtract x, the tan of 22 degrees, 
this will be equal to the turn or 30 the turn of 22 degrees <clears throat> the turn of 22 degrees therefore i can now use my calculator turn 32 minus the turn of 22 this will give me 0 0.2208 0 0.2208 Zero eight x equivalent to thirty the turn of twenty two thirty turn twenty two this gives us twelve point one two twelve point one two so the value of x is going to be when I divide this by zero point two two zero eight I'm going to have fifty four point eight nine meters remember the value of x is just the length between q and the foot of the tree therefore height of the tree will be given by either expression one or two and therefore i'm going to say that h equals to x whose value is now known the tangent of 32 the turn of that two. Therefore, I'm going to have 54 multiplied by the turn of 32. This gives me exactly 34.30 meters. This is to four significant figures. So this is going to be the height of the above tree. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share. Thank you.